Hey guys, today we're going to see how we will scrape uh, the realtor.com results listings uh, using beautiful soup and Python. Uh, I've already set the URL to San Francisco here and let's see if we can scrape this. Okay. Uh, I've loaded the sort of the boilerplate code, which is basically typed it in already. Load up beautiful soup requests. You can also set the user agent to uh, pretend to be a browser a little bit. We had some issues with realtor accepting encoding, so I've set this just to trick it for a bit. Let's see, and I hope it works, right? And then I use the request object, pass the headers and the URL, get the response, and the response dot content is passed to beautiful soup and ask beautiful soup to convert into an XML document which I can query. Okay. So let's see what it entails to actually query this. So let's see if we can divide this document into sub documents. There you go. There you go. There you go. So if I keep going, um, somewhere here it should end and become, um, yeah, this li, if you see this, each li element is one listing, okay? So all we got to do is get the li's first. So the most meaningful property name here to me is a component property card, okay? How about we take that and then select based on that. Okay, so the component property card is the class name, is it? Uh, yeah, it's the class name here, you can say class. Let's get that, okay, and we'll get the entire LI in one place. So what I'll do is I will just um, call soup.select and then call the component property card maybe control x and then the dot will say that's the class name okay so the class name component property card dot is the operator for it this will give us an array right so what we'll do is we'll actually go through the array we'll preempt it for item in an array and then let's just print the item and see what happens okay let's also print the separator so that we can understand what's going on then save it and here we go we simply say scrape um, realtor the py okay. okay i'll close this all right so and then we'll run it here Python 3, scrape realtor.py. Okay. Here we go. It actually got the component property card, guys. See, look at that. Okay. So each of those. So now all we got to do is query within this. All the data we need is within this listing. So let's see if we can pull out other pieces of data, okay? So before I do that, I always put everything in a try clutch block, a try except block so that we can, you know, happily ignore errors because there will be some errors. Some data pieces will not be available and it will start failing. You don't need that. You can just say accept, capture, capture the, catch the exceptions here and then kill them, catch and kill, however, uh, as E or something. Yeah, we do nothing, okay? Okay, but we don't raise an error. We don't raise the error, we just kill it. So, let's see if we can get some details of this, all right? Let's see if we can get the price. That's what we need, isn't it? So, price, so let's get to the price, right click, price. The price is a very simple one, I feel. It says, I think this is what we should probably get, PC price wrapper. Uh, it's not a class name, it's a data label, so that's fine. We'll just get that. 
the way to do it is to say item not soup in this case we address only the item so that we limit our area of operation to that particular item at any point in time dot select then go um, data label was it data label I think I think this chair will check data label yes PC price wrapper so I'm just gonna take that PC price wrapper uh, so that's the data label as a property uh, and uh, the attribute and then the value of that attribute is PC price wrapper and then this will give us an array so let's just take the first item of the array always and get the text and then see what happens I'm just going to print this print boom good luck Good luck, guys. There you go. Got the price. We got the price. All right. Encouraged by that. We further delve into what is it that we can get. Okay. Let's get the summary here. So it says summary wrap. Let's get it. Let's not don't worry about it. <laughs> So I'll just copy this, paste it here, and do dot summary wrapped, was it? Yep, yep, yep. Summary wrap. And let's get something else as well. What do we get? Mm -hmm. Property wrap. Whatever this is. Now, let's get something meaningful. What about the this one? Inspect. Okay, okay. There you go. The address. PC address. Let's get PC address. Data label PC address. Or address. I'll just get address. Yeah, address. Okay. Uh, let's get summary wrap. Then there is address. What else do we need? Do we need... Um, I think that's it. Some PC address second. What is that? Oh, that's the whole city and everything. Sure, let's get that. But that has a data label property. Mm. I don't think we need it. We are we are in this, so we don't need it. Should we get this? Should we get the the rest of it? The the stuff. This whole thing here. Let's get that. Why am I asking you guys as if you're here? Right. So this whole thing, you can see, it comes from this proper prop meta. Right. Prop meta seems to be all of this, but then this all comes from the UL class prop meta, property meta. Property meta. So let's get property meta, the class name property meta, and that's all we need to get. Get text should get all of this for us. So I'm just going to keep this here. Let's make a couple of copies of this. Um, property meta. All right, that should give us that. Um, anything else? I think that's it. That's it. We should be done with it. Address second. Let's just get the address second, shall we? Let's see address second because I think that's important too. Address second. Address second. So nobody clips here. Remove that. Put the address second a little above this. So it makes a little bit more sense. And maybe pull the whole addresses down. Put the property meta right on right next to the thing and run it. Here we go. So we got the price, we got what it has, and the address, and sort of the secondary address, what do you want to call it? And bingo, we got everything. Okay, guys. So pick and choose, do what you want with it. And that's how. 
hey what about we get the images because the image is such a key part isn't it so i don't feel satisfied till we get the image let's see what we can do image is typically pretty easy image src that's all we need to get um, there is a difference between the src here and this i don't know what it is yeah we can just get it to src so let's get the image okay um image we can address it just like so um img and remove the get text we don't need the text we need the property src and then close that should be the image the link to the image really nah didn't work did it uh why i think uh, i think um Let's pull this up a little bit here because some of those properties might be messing with it. Nah, it's still not working. Ah, it's because it's empty. All right, so let's see what we got here. We'll try data SRC, shall we? I think this might be generated by some sort of. Well, there are two with the same URL. I'm just going to try the other one, okay, guys? IMG. But data is RC. Um, yeah, we try data dash SRC. Here we go. We got it. We got the image links. That's that. Okay. Here we go. That's how you scrape real time okay and to really really scale this in production level make sure you t you rotate the user agent string there is a script that i've already done a video of please go check it out how to do that also please rotate please 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 rotate ip addresses because eventually you're going to get blocked the way to do that use a rotating proxy service like proxy api you'll not be able to do it on your own you pass we'll route all your requests if you just pass the url the alter url in this case to the API key, with the API key, we give you a two hour endpoint and we take care of everything. We pass you through a pool of two million proxies. We automatically rotate browser identities, user agent strings. We keep retrying till you get the data. We solve captures. And we also do JavaScript rendering in case there's an Ajax based script. Okay. All of this, thousand API calls free, go sign up. No credit card required and try it for yourself. Even otherwise, I hope you enjoyed it as usual. Thank you very much for watching.